The Minnesota Vikings summoned some star power to put extra pressure on state lawmakers nearing decisive votes on public financing for a new pro football stadium. Running back Adrian Peterson, linebacker Chad Greenway and center John Sullivan helped lobby at the Capitol today. The proposal was reshaped when the Senate Finance Committee voted to have Racino help fund the project, a long-standing and controversial issue at the Capitol. Here you get a look at the star players. There's Adrian Peterson coming off the knee injury, walking in and helping to lobby today. And again, a controversial Racino plan now added to it, which could cause problems. They don't want to vote for it. They either don't believe in, in gambling in that form, or they don't want to believe in the expansion, so, or they just don't like Racino. So I think um, probably more in you know, Paul's caucus, because that, that seems to be a bigger issue. There's a, I'd say there's probably a fair amount of people in our caucus. You know, I've, I've voted for Racino in the past, but uh, I, I think it's probably from this point and just whatever changes are made to the bill that are that dramatic are probably harmful. Yeah, I do think it changes it fundamentally. Um, and, you know, the fact of the matter is I think we both agreed over the uh, in the past that uh, Racino is very difficult to pass up the House on a bipartisan basis. The bill that we have on the House floor right now uh, is something that we could move ahead uh, ahead on, and I think we should we should start moving that ahead. I mean, what happens in the Senate is in the Senate, and we can always uh, come back and kind of conferee it and get the right bill done. Racino would authorize slot machines at the state's horse racing tracks to help pay for the nearly $1 billion stadium. You can catch much more legislative coverage on Almanac at the Capitol tonight, which follows our news at 1030. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.